Yo, what's good everybody? It's a boy Thoughtco Xavier here back with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my pick for the 2017 dunk contest. Like who I think is gonna win between Aaron Gordon, Derek Jones Jr., DeAndre Jordan, and Glenn Robinson III. So who is gonna get last? In my opinion, I'm start I'm gonna start with who's gonna get last. In my opinion, I think that Glenn Robinson the third is gonna get last. Glenn Robinson the third. He plays for the uh, Indiana Pacers, pretty sure. He, I don't know. He's athletic, don't get me wrong. Obviously, he's in the dunk contest. He has to be athletic. But I just feel like he doesn't have the creativity to be able to win a dunk contest. Even from his in-game dunks, you can see that he usually just does like plain old like cock back dunks. And not, they're not even that cock, far cock back when he dunks it. Like he just does normal one hand, two hand dunks. Nothing really creative. My pick for third place. DeAndre Jordan. I think DeAndre Jordan's gonna get third place because usually, as history shows, like in the dunk contest, big men don't usually do well. They usually don't look like they're jumping high and their dunks don't really look impressive. Like Andre Drummond from, pretty sure it was last year actually. Andre Drummond, he didn't really have any like, he didn't look like he was jumping high at all. Don't get me wrong, he can dunk pretty good. And like that one with uh, Steve Nash, I think, where he did the little soccer kick and then Andre Drummond windmilled it. Don't get me wrong, it was a good dunk, but it just didn't look that athletic because he was so big. And I think that's probably what's gonna happen with DeAndre Jordan. Not as bad as Andre Drummond, but at, like even when you see DeAndre Jordan in games, he like, you can see like he jumps high. He looks like he's actually athletic when he's dunking and such, but like he has some creativity. Like, but mostly he does like plain tomahawk dunks and just normal lobs. The best thing I've ever seen him do is a windmill. I mean, like the dunk over Brandon Knight, that was crazy, but he just cocked it back. It was just the alley-oop, like, poster. So I think he's going to get third. Second place and first place. Second place and first place, I'm going to say the winner of the dunk contest is going to be Derek Jones Jr. Probably one of the least talked about dunkers because he has he's only played, like, I think 20-something minutes in the NBA. But I think that he is the most athletic out of the four. He, or he has the most athleticism out of the four. Don't uh, mess that up. But Aaron Gordon, last year we saw he got robbed bad but for the dunk contest. Zach Levine, he did some insane dunks that probably will go down as some of the greatest dunks I've ever seen in dunk contest history. Like that between the legs from just about the free throw line and the windmill from free throw line and the alley-oop from the free throw line, all were better than Jordan's free throw line dunk in my opinion. Jordan... I think Jordan's free throw line dunk is probably one of the most overrated dunks ever because yes, he's jumping really far, but how many other players have done it and jumped further? Serge Ibaka jumped the furthest in dunk contest history. Serge Ibaka, yeah. But Derek Jones Jr., from what I've seen from him, he is just, like, he, he seems unstoppable in dunk contest. In high school, he was doing 360 between the legs easy. He was doing off the side of the backboard between the legs. He was doing 360 windmills easy, like Vince Carter-esque type 360 windmills. He was jumping over two or three people and doing dunks. It just looks so easy. He even did a freaking free throw line windmill. Like, Zach Levine did that. Or no, yeah, Zach Levine did that last year. But I still feel like Derek Jones is just way more athletic. His body type, yes, he is like 6'7". But since he's lanky and skinny like Zach Levine, it'll look like he's jumping really high, like he can. His head gets above the rim almost every dunk. And like, I don't know, I just feel like he's so athletic that he's just gonna out-dunk Aaron Gordon because I don't know if Aaron Gordon really has anything left. Uh, I heard that Aaron Gordon actually is doing a dunk, like kind of like a twist on the uh, air chair, sit down, jump over the guy mascot dunk last year or whatever. The dunk that had everybody freaking buzzing. Apparently he's doing like a modification of that dunk, but I still don't feel like that's gonna be enough to be Derek Jones. He's just insane. If you have not watched him, Go look him up. I think Ball's Life has a video about him. But there you go. That is my predictions. Prediction for the dunk contest. I'm not going to make a whole video about the other ones, but three point contest. I think that Aaron Gordon, or not Aaron Gordon, Clay Thompson is going to win. Uh, I meant Eric Gordon. That's why, that's why I was thinking of Gordon. I feel like Clay Thompson's going to win the three point contest. And the skill challenge, I feel that Isaiah Thomas is going to win it. Isaiah Thomas is just crazy he's just so unstoppable at five foot nine just crazy but 
those are my picks for All-Star Weekend. And I guess thank you for watching. I guess I'll come back tomorrow probably with a video talking about my uh, choice. At, like, and the results, I guess, of all the competitions. I'll be watching them. Thank you for watching. Watch the dunk contest, by the way. If, you're, if you don't plan on watching it, go watch it. It'll be crazy. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video.